What's up you guys? So I went to the bins this past week and I was going to do another $1 thrift challenge video. I, I went there you know, with that in mind, but they just, they had too much good stuff and I couldn't limit myself to just a dollar. So instead of another $1 thrift challenge video, I'm just going to do a bins haul video for you. Uh, I spent a total of $4.90 and I got a lot of cool stuff and I think you guys are going to like it. So uh, let's just, let's just jump into it. So again, just to, uh, just to clarify, if you don't know, the bins, it's the Goodwill Outlet Center where everything is just compiled in a bunch of a bin, a bunch of bins. That's why they call it the bins. But you buy it by the weight. Uh, so if the Goodwill bins where I'm from, every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, they have a half off sale after 4 p.m., I believe where everything is half price. Normally it's $1.39 a pound. So on these days it's like 69 cents a pound. So that's why I was able to get so much stuff for so little money. If you're a new reseller, I highly recommend trying the bins because you can get some pretty decent inventory there for very, very little money. And I think that's one of the most important parts about being a reseller and starting out is not spending all of your money on inventory. Um, so. With that being said, let's get into the haul. First up, we got this Battleship game. This is, I don't think it's the original one, but it is is—it is made in the USA. So I did check out all the pieces are in here. Um, it's got two of these bad boys. I thought it was gonna be worth a little bit more money. I looked it up and they're maybe like 20 bucks or so, maybe 25 with free shipping. A little disappointed on that. I saw made in the USA and I got really excited. But still, still a pretty good sale. So I've already quadrupled my money. <laughs> Next up, I found this thing. Uh, it was wrapped up in tape. I didn't really know what it was, but I saw that this thing said Nintendo. Uh, so I saw Nintendo, it looked kind of vintage. Hey, I'll pick it up. It turns out it is a uh, Nintendo Super Scope receiver. I don't know what it is. I looked it up and the comps are like 12 bucks or so with free shipping. So, not a huge sale, but like I said, I spent $4.90 on all this stuff. Then I picked up this uh, rolling pin. This is a solid wood rolling pin, so it doesn't have like the, the mechanism to where like you hold it still and it rolls. So you actually have to... You actually have to roll it with your hands like they did in the olden days. If you find rolling pins that are actual solid wood, I'm 99% sure this is maple. Um, but they can actually sell for pretty good money. I've seen, comps are all over the place, but I saw one that sold for like $40 plus shipping. Saw a couple that sold for like 20 to 25 plus shipping. So I'll probably list this at maybe $34.99 with free shipping and just see what happens. This requires a visual. Get the chair out of the way. You see this? This is a lightsaber belonging to Darth, Darth Maul. <laughs> this back unfortunately it doesn't light up or make sounds uh, and it's missing one of the little red buttons it's supposed to have a button there but still i think i could probably get like 15 to 20 bucks for it um, plus shipping so again adding to my total then I saw this. I see like drone controllers all the time, but most of the time they're not really worth any money. I saw this. I noticed a little metal like flippy switch on it. Usually, if you see a plastic controller with metal switches like this, that's generally a sign that it's for a, a, a higher quality drone. Um, so I took the time to look this up. It's really easy because it's a like, huge model number right there. Sold comps on this one, I think, were anywhere from like 25 up to like 40 bucks or so. So I'm not going to be able to test it uh, with a drone, so I'll have to list it as untested. But I can probably get like 25 bucks for it plus shipping. So next up, I'm just going to dump it all out. I'm going to show you one by one, okay? The first one I found was this. This is a golf club head cover. Uh, these are basically protective covers that go over expensive golf clubs. When new drivers come out, they all have their own head cover that has like the model of the of the club. So if somebody has this uh, driver and they lose the head cover, people lose head covers all the time. So if people lose them, they want to get the same one, the one that's for their specific club. So then they go to eBay. 
This one's in pretty decent condition. There's a couple little uh, like thread poles right here that I'm just gonna snip those off. And then there's some like wear right there. But um, it's not like dirty or stained or anything. So I think I could probably get about 12 to $15 for this one plus shipping. And then I also got all of these. I found, I found the first one and uh, I was like, oh, that's cool, I'll get that. That's really lightweight and it won't add a, a bunch of money to my total. And then in the next bin, there were all these. So a couple of them, like, a couple of them are a little lower value. Like this is for a hybrid iron, a Titleist 915H. This one might be more of a long tail item, maybe like five or six dollars plus shipping on that. This is for a TaylorMade M3. I think this is a fairway wood maybe like five bucks on that plus shipping this is for a callaway xr um again fairway woods and, and lower like three woods and five woods don't really i mean I, I got them because there's money to be made i'll probably sell this one this one and this one the m4 and m3 uh these are like fairway irons so i'll sell these together in a set maybe ask like ten dollars for these plus shipping uh this tailor made burner um it's a little dirty i might try to buff that off with like a, a magic eraser or something and this is for a four. Oh wait no it's this oh it's changeable you can change it from a three to an x to a seven five so this is like a i don't know that's interesting i'm gonna have to look that up i don't know what it's worth nike vapor um nike vapor two i guess that's like a two iron I, I don't know all of these these weird ones aren't worth a ton of money like like i said five to seven eight dollars on each but then the rest of these are putter head covers if you ever find putter head covers they're probably the most valuable um outside of drivers because putters golfers really want their putter to be protected because if your putter gets a little ding in, in the face of it when you're hitting the ball it can really throw your ball off track so people are always looking for covers for their putters this one is for a Wilson Staff Infinite. Um, Wilson Staff isn't that great of a brand, but I could probably get like eight to ten dollars for this one. This is for a Ping Karsten putter. Um, nice Velcro, really protective case here. Um, probably fifteen, maybe fifteen to eighteen dollars. This is for an Odyssey Ghost. Odyssey. Wait, no, no, this one. No, this was Taylor Made. Taylor Made Ghost. Uh, TaylorMade is a great golf brand to look out for, clubs and head covers. Probably 15 to 18 on this one as well. And this one is the Odyssey Works putter, head cover. Um, Odyssey is probably one of the, it's definitely one of the top brands of putter, if not the best brand of putter. Um, maybe second to like Scotty Cameron or something. So, I mean, all the head covers together, I would look at at least fifty to sixty dollars in profit on those. Um, so fifty to sixty in profit on the head covers. Let me just write it down. Okay, so let's. I'll, I'll be super conservative because I know in haul videos and when you when and if you tell people how much you're going to sell stuff for in haul videos, people are going to be like, "Oh, you're never going to get that much for it." You're, yeah. I'll be very very conservative. Let's say fifty dollars in profit for all the head covers. We'll say. 10 for the lightsaber, 10 for the battleship, 20 for the drone controller, 10 on the rolling pin. Is that it? Oh, and then the Nintendo thing, let's say five. So even being very, very conservative, we still got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105. Okay. That's being very conservative. I, I personally think I'll probably make more than that, but you know, it's whatever. I did go back to the bins today and I picked up another cool item and I wanna share that with you. So I paid, today was full price, Saturdays are full price. So I paid two, like $2 and 40 cents for these or something. Yeah, $2, $2 and 40 cents. And uh, I saw these cowboy boots. And so I could just tell they were nice quality when I found them. So with cowboy boots, you usually can look inside the, the boot here and see some information. Usually there's some codes and sizes and stuff there. If you look all the way down at the bottom, you can like inside, like on the heel where the heel hits the ground, there's the brand. 
And I don't know if you can see it in this light, but these are these are Lucchese boots. They're in pretty good condition. The, the leather is, I mean, the leather needs to be conditioned, which I'm going to do. I have, I have this Bic 4 leather conditioner that I use on all my boots and, and belts, um, bags, if I buy like handbags, this stuff works great. I just put some in, in, a, in a terry cloth, like a lint-free cloth, just rub it on the boots and it, it really cleans them up, makes them shine. So I would, I'd highly recommend this if you're dealing with leather goods, leather shoes, uh, this stuff works great. I'll link it down in the description below. But these boots will clean up very, very nicely. There's no, when you're buying cowboy boots, you wanna make sure that there's not any cracks here because this is usually the most worn out area of the boot, like right along this toe here. But these are in really good condition. There's no cracks, there's no separation on the heels. Um, the, I mean, it's still, it's still solid right there. The heel's in pretty good condition. I don't think I'll have to do any major work to these. I think I'll just polish them up and make them look good. And there's a couple listed right now, not the same exact boot, but there's a couple of Lucchese, uh, these are the it's 1883 model. Lucchese 1883 model. I can't find the exact comps, but there's a couple listed for like, I think the highest is like 130. There's some listed for like 70 plus shipping. Um, there's one listed as low as like 55 plus shipping. But like on the one listed for seven, like 79 plus shipping, the pictures aren't very good. They're taken in a room filled with a bunch of stuff. It's just not good pictures. So I think if I clean these up, make them shine, take some good pictures with a nice white background, I think I can list them at like one, 115 maybe, 115 with free shipping, 114.99 with free shipping. And I think these will sell. These are size, no, a little bit smaller size. These are size seven and a half. So they may take a little bit longer to sell, but I, I really think I'll get between 80 and 100 bucks on these. Uh, and again, I spent $2.40. So I love the bins. Uh, if you are not, if you have a bins near you and you are not utilizing that source for your inventory, I would jump on it. I know that a lot of bins in higher population areas can be kind of hectic at times, especially when they bring out the new bins and new inventory. Um, people throwing stuff and stealing out of your cart, but I haven't had that happen here, probably because I don't go right when they put the bins out. <laughs> Definitely check out the bins if you are able to. Um, so with that being said, that is my haul for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just kidding. I've got a giveaway. I've got a giveaway coming. I had to, I had to go and, uh, and, and come back. I had to go get some G Fuel, get my uh, hydration levels on. Now I want to get into my giveaways. No, I did not forget about those. I I'd said in my last video that I was going to give away something in that video, in this video, and the video after this one, my next three videos. In this video, I, I can't really decide exactly what I want to give away, so I'm going to give away a couple different things. First up is going to be a bundle. Um, so this scale, this is the scale I've used for reselling and you know my shipping and stuff like that since November, since I started. And it is a workhorse. I've never had any problems with it. It is an Accutec scale and it uh, measures up to 50 pounds. Again, it has been wonderful to me. Uh, the only downside to it is that the display is like here. So if you have a big box that like juts out a little bit too far, um, you kind of have to look like under the box to see the, the how many how much it weighs. Um, so I did upgrade to a new Accutec with a where the digital reader is connected by a cord, so it just works better for bigger boxes. And this one goes up to 110 pounds. Since I upgraded, I'm going to be giving away my old scale, and then along with that scale to kind of sweeten the deal for you, it's going to be a pack of poly bags. These poly bags are 12 by 15 and a half inches, which in my opinion is one of the best sizes. It's very versatile. You can do pretty much anything with it and you get a hundred poly bags in this pack. So the first giveaway is going to be the scale with the pack of 100 poly bags. If you want to be entered into that, all you have to do is like this video, drop a comment down below saying anything you want and not literally anything you want. Say, say anything you want. I'm just going to pick a random comment to win that. And then the other giveaway, uh, of course, I've got to I've got to give away some G Fuel. Okay, there's there's just no getting around it. I've got to do it. So I think the best thing to do is give away a at like a, a sample pack. So like with this tumbler I got, um, I ordered it from gfuel.com. I think it was like sixteen dollars on sale, and you got the tumbler with six different flavor pouches. 
Um, I'm not sure if they have that same sale going on, but that's what I'm gonna give away. Same rules, drop a comment down below, like the video, be sure to be subscribed to the channel, and I'll pick a random winner. And um, there's a couple different, this is actually the Ric Flair <laughs> Tumblr, uh, and they have a couple other wrestlers and like some basketball teams and some just plain colors. So I'll get with the winner and uh, you can just pick whichever one you want. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I haven't done a, a true haul video in a while. So if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps me out a ton. It gives my video a lot more traction. Um, like the more likes and interactions the video gets, the more likely the YouTube algorithm is to spread it to people who may not have heard about my channel. So really appreciate it if you guys could take a second and do that. And uh, also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to, to do that and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any, any more videos. So anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you again so much. Uh, happy Saturday. Go play outside. It's, if it's good weather, get outside and go throw a Frisbee. Uh, look out for snakes. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you on the next one.